Jeff, and that actually leads us to the question we're about to add a bunch of new drugs or new combinations and new agents to the relapse patient setting. Maybe, Daniel, let us know about what, what you know about the vincristine sulfate liposomal injection, so, Alkibo. So, and so there's very few new chemotherapy agents. Not clofarabine is only for children approved, nilarabine only for T cells. Erwinia is for uh, you know, very specific patients that are... So this is, this is a, a vincristine, basically it's a vincristine, and it's approved for all types of ALL, but at, the, at least the FDA approval is for Philadelphia negative. It is a vincristine which is packaged in a liposome and it's released once you give it to the patient in a, in a slower fashion and in a way you can give more of the drug and it's, it's pharmacokinetics has a more favorable outcome. Now the problem, vincristine has got two problems. One of them, it's never used as a single agent. Although with vincristine and prednisone in children with 85% remission rates in adults 50, but it's a drug, if you think on any disease, it's never used as a single agent. We always use it in combination. And, and, and what is the impact of vincristine in each one of these combinations is not clear. We think in ALL it's very important as part of what uh, he was thinking about the non-myelosuppressive drug. The second problem is that almost all adults get a fixed dose. Although it's 1.4 milligrams per meter square, it's capped at 2 milligrams. And this has never been studied, and the, the data that favor each way to cap or not to cap. So if you are bigger than 1.43 meters square, which I think all of us are bigger than that, uh, you get a fixed dose of two milligrams. So this drug allows two things. It was studied as a single agent, so it's the first time you can deliver vincristine as a single agent. And in this the pivotal trial with 65 patients, the complete remissions was uh, 20%. Uh, two thirds of them were actually MRD uh, negative, which is very interesting. And uh, overall response rate is 35%. And I in, and emphasize the overall because we'll, we'll talk a bit later. It is sometimes there's some conditions that you don't need to get the full response. So this overall response is, is also in, interesting. So what you can give now, the dose is 2.25 milligrams per meter square, so higher, and it's not capped. So everybody is getting more than two milligrams, and you are getting uh, based on your meter square. If it's, it's correct or not, it, it's, it's not clear. But what they show that you can use a single agent, you're able to intensify uh, the dose uh, without more toxicity. I mean, the neuropathy so if is not... So talking about this neuropathy, it's a theoretical advantage that you'll have less neuropathy, but in patients who've already seen vincristine, are they, are they still seeing less neuropathy? So, so all the patients, so on 65 patients that I mentioned, and I think the eight, there's another 25 on the phase one, every one of them got vincristine, because that's standard in any regimen. So everybody got vincristine, but the condition for the trial they could have had a, a, a permanent phase one toxicity was carried over, or a, f a grade one, sorry, a grade one toxicity, or a grade two that was resolved. If somebody had a higher toxicity, they were not, I mean, grade three or four, they were not included. So there is a selection a little bit, but uh, uh, the thing is that everybody got it, had a little bit of, of uh, neurotoxicity. It didn't, I can say the neuropathy rate, and this patient population was about 24% uh, in the study. And there's a few more percent is the second side of his constipation. It's another thing that we need to check. Uh, so so uh, what is the advantage? As I say, it, it give, you can give more consistent in a relapse setting. Uh, you can use it as a single agent. The big question is, it, what is the importance of giving morphine? And actually, they measure everybody gets much more than Christine's in a combination regimen, especially in front line. Would giving regular vincristine or, or liposomal vincristine with a higher dose in a combination regimen, whatever regimen you choose, better than and using the standard vincristine, which is capped, and you do not give more than two milligrams. We have, we have patients that got five milligrams of vincristine without more toxicity. Well, thanks, Dan. Mark, if I can end this, this segment, can you tell me in any of the cooperative group trials, have they incorporated Markibo into the upfront studies? Is that being planned or thought of 
because uh, that seems the next logical step. Yes, and that was uh, was uh, thought of, uh, and there was a study uh, proposed. Uh, I will say that uh, the cancer therapy evaluation program did not approve the study. The company has put forth a a randomized uh, a trial comparing uh, liposomal vincristine to standard vincristine and randomizing patients, and, and that study is, is ongoing. Yes, we say it.